video for chapter 13.0 cap screw let's take a look at the first sketch again there's many ways to do it but here's one way create this profile make sure all your dimensions are as such okay and what we're going to do, when we finish sketch, we're going to go to Revolve. And you're going to choose this profile here. And this will be your axis. So you finish sketch. You'll go to Revolve, choose that profile, and go back. Your choose the axis and choose that bottom line. And it'll revolve. And you'll have pretty much the screw done all but a few parts here. And then you can just create a rectangle with these dimensions. And you can go out into space here. It's no problem beyond the part. And then we're going to cut that down. It really doesn't tell you how far. But we can take a look at how much we did here. point three one three so he doesn't really tell you but that's what we did here okay the last thing you want to do is a chamfer at the bottom and we're going to use 45 degrees by 130 seconds just to put that on the bottom now we're just doing a simulated thread and we just took that all the way to the top. Um, so you would go thread and choose this area here. And it will put those simulated threads on there for you. So just thread, click out here. Okay. Um, later, uh, we do a coil, which is more... Um, if you're doing any 3D printing, you're going to need a coil. This won't work on a 3D printer. But just for simulation purposes, uh, it works for us. Okay? So let's go to our IDW. Put in your three views here. <coughs> Excuse me. Three views with all these dimensions. Put a... Material, your name, chapter 13, cap screw. Okay?